Hola, my name is Aida Lugo McAllister, author of Aida's Kitchen, Alo Boricua, a bilingual Puerto Rican cookbook. I am going to demonstrate how to prepare vegetable soup, sopa de vegetales, a la Puerto Rican style. I love my garden. In fact, I call it Aida's Garden because we experience harsh winters in Northwest Indiana. I take advantage during the summer months to prepare meals using fresh produce. My mom always prepared vegetable soup at home. Here are some of the fresh produce in preparing our vegetable soup. We have a zucchini, we have tomatoes. Now I took these tomatoes and I canned diced tomatoes. We have the green peppers, the onions, our ajíes dulces, culantro leaves, and cilantro, which is the cousin of culantro. Now you basically chop all the fresh produce and you add them to the soup. But before we start cooking our vegetable soup, let's watch a video where I am picking these fresh produce to prepare our soup today. This is my garden and I am going to pick some fresh herbs and vegetables to prepare my soup. I'm going to start with the green pepper. This is my ajia dulces plant and all I need is four ajia dulces. So I'm going to grab four. Now I'm going to pull an onion. Let's cut a few sprigs of cilantro. Now I'm going to pick our zucchini. This is my culantro. All I need is just a few leaves. Now I am done, so let's go back inside and start preparing our delicious soup. Let's start with heating three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. We are going to add some of the ingredients. Now the first six ingredients were freshly picked from my garden. We're going to add one onion chopped. One small green pepper cut into strip. Four onion dulces cut in half and seed it. Three sprigs of cilantro chopped. Three culantro leaves chopped one medium-sized zucchini chopped. Now the last two ingredients are two celery stalk chopped and two cups of cabbage chopped. Now we're going to saute the herbs and the vegetables for approximately 5 to 10 minutes until they soften, stirring occasionally.
smells so good. Another quick stir. There's nothing like fresh herbs and vegetables from my garden. Now the vegetables appear to be softened. We are done with sauteing the herbs and the vegetables. And now we're going to add the remaining ingredients. Now let's add two carrots chopped. One medium potatoes cut into one and a half inch chunks. A half a cup of cooked chickpeas, galbanzos. One cup of my homemade canned diced tomatoes. Two cups of vegetable broth. And three cups of water. gonna add a teaspoon of salt I use the low sodium and one and a half teaspoon of my special blend of seasoning to add color and flavor to the soup on page 14 of my cookbook Ida's Kitchen a lo Boricua and my food blogging website itiskitchenboricua.com you will find the ingredients for my special blend of seasoning. Let's give this soup a quick stir and now we're going to bring the liquid to a boil so let me increase the temperature of my induction cooker. The liquid is boiling so let's reduce the temperature to low and cook the soup for approximately 30 to 40 minutes or until the vegetables are tender. Give a quick stir here and you cover the saucepan with the lid and we'll be back in 30 to 40 minutes. The soup has been cooking now for 40 minutes. Let's see if the vegetables are tender. Yes, the vegetables are tender. The soup is done. Boy, this smells so good. I am ready to serve a bowl of this delicious soup. I forgot to mention earlier that our vegetable soup that we prepare today is an excellent meal for those individuals that are vegans and vegetarians. If you notice, I added other vegetables, including cabbage. We consume a lot of cabbage in Puerto Rico known as repollo. And for protein, I added galbanzo beans, known as chickpeas. Now I'm ready to taste our delicious vegetable soup. Oh my God, the broth is just excellent, especially with our special blend of seasoning that I created and added to the soup. Mm. 
And you can't go wrong when you are using fresh produce. Let me get a little bit of mm, mm -hmm. zucchini. The flavors are enhanced when you use fresh produce. Excellent. I hope you have enjoyed watching my YouTube video on how to prepare vegetable soup, sopa de vegetales, a la Puerto Rican style. Thank you for watching Ida's Kitchen YouTube video. If you enjoyed this video, please share, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like a copy of my cookbook, please visit my website, idaskitchenboricua.com and click on the cookbook tab. Now my cookbook is a bilingual cook cookbook. If you prefer the English side, this is the side that is English. If you prefer the uh, Spanish language, then you flip it over and this side is written in Spanish. Every recipe has a picture and this book consists of at least 42 authentic Puerto Rican recipes that I learned while living in Puerto Rico. Thank you.